Welcome back guys, in this video I will be trying out Kingdom Hearts HD 1.5 plus 2.5 Remix on my ROG Ally. I have the set one extreme variant of this device. This bundle includes 6 HD remasters of previously launched Kingdom Hearts games. We can play through only 4 of these games. 2 of them only offer HD remastered cutscenes, no gameplay at all. The following games are included in this bundle. Kingdom Hearts Final Mix, Kingdom Hearts 3, Chain of Memories, Kingdom Hearts 358 by 2 days that only has cutscenes no gameplay kingdom hearts part 2 final mix kingdom hearts birth by sleep final mix last but not least we have kingdom hearts recoded only cutscenes on pc platform this collection is only available on epic game store i have installed it on an sd card samsung eo plus a2 rated speed my ally is running on pass version 337 i have installed the latest stable gpu drive from amd adrenaline version 24.3.1 set the umi buffer size to 4 gb launch the game Connected my Gully Kit KK3 Max Gamepad to Ally via Bluetooth mode. Command center setting using the 15 watts performance profile. RSI enabled. Resolution being upscaled from 720p to Full HD. CPU boost disabled. Tried using the 900p resolution. The resolution was getting upscaled from 600p to Full HD. Some of these Kingdom Hearts games were crashing on ROG Ally. After tweaking a few settings, I was able to fix the crashing issue. Just need to run the game in borderless full screen mode and set the frame rate to 120. Refresh rate on basically enables the in game vSync games launcher. From here, we can select the Kingdom Hearts game that we want to play. I'll kick things off with Kingdom Hearts Final Mix. Show you the attendance settings free sync enabled, vSync disabled, anti lag setting enabled, RSA working, resolution upscale from 720p to full HD. In this game, we'll be playing as Sora, fighting against the forces of darkness, joined by Goofy, Donald Duck, and other characters from Disney. Alright, the game has started. I skipped the opening sequence. There's Sora. We are on the beach. Forces of darkness are attacking us. Need to run. I have a wooden sword. It's not going to work. FPS is very variable, like 60 to 80. Not observing any stuttering, animation is smooth, APU is drawing almost 10 watts of power, total power draw is around 15 watts, should be getting a playtime of around 2 and a half hours on a full battery, that seems run at 30 FPS. Cutscene works very nicely, English audio, I'll skip it. And now I can attack these creatures. Need to escape from here. Go through that door. Oh no, what just happened? Game is running in windowed mode. Secret place. It's a cave. Another cutscene. Kyrie. Yes, Kyrie. Sora. Show you some combat. Fight against this creature. Lock onto my target. Attack its head. Its hand is not in range. Now I can attack it. Should be going down. Kill the minions. There you go.
came as very nicely on Rog Alley. Did not observe any bugs. Next sequence. We are in the first district. Non playable characters. Getting around 60 FPS here. Now I'll be testing the next one. I'll be running Chain of Memories. This game was crashing frequently on my ROG Ally. Had to tweak a few settings. First, open the game's adrenaline settings. Make sure FreeSync and BSync are disabled from here. From the in game settings, set frame rate to unlock, refresh rate disabled, 720p resolution, borderless full screen mode, load a save file. Yeah, there is a character. Go to this door. Need to use a specific card in order to unlock the door. I'm getting around 120 FPS. Pick up the barrel. Tag this creature. Throw the barrel. <laughs> Stand it. Yeah, combat started. Need to pick from any of these cards. Just spam them. Game is not demanding on the hardware, drawing only 9 watts of power for the APU. Total power draw is around 14 watts. Heal myself. Cleared the area. Good thing, game did not crash. Another creature popped up. These guys are stunned. I call in Goofy. A new deck. Landed a few blues. Here you go. I'll be testing the next game. I'll be running Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep Final Mix. Observe frame pacing issues in this game. Had to enable in game vsync. Borderless full screen. Frame rate unlocked. Refresh rate enabled. Freezing and Vsync disabled from adrenaline settings. High FPS can cause some issues in these Kingdom Hearts games. The safest way to play them is by capping the FPS to 30. Load a save file. Arrived on this island. Engage in combat. Getting a variable FPS. 8200 not observing any frame pacing issues animation is smooth game is not demanding on the hardware APU power draw is around 10 watts total power draw is around 17 watts quickly cleared the area what the hell is this thing Still not down. Use the strike ray special ability. And that's it. I'll enter the mine. Save point. Buy some stuff from here. Shop. Let's see what's going on here. Uncover the drops. Hiding places. Saw some movement in the background. I 
nothing at all is present in that card. Found a dog hiding under this crate, running away from me. Can't lock onto it. Finally, trying to do some damage. Need to break this crate. All this dwarf is quick. Finally. I'll be testing the next game. In game settings for Kingdom Hearts Part 2. V Sync disabled. Frame rate unlocked. 720p resolution. Borderless full screen. Adrenaline settings for Kingdom Hearts 2. V Sync and V Sync disabled. There's Roxas. Need to pick up a weapon. Choose this weapon. I'm getting a variable FPS again. Cutscene runs at 30 FPS. Take out this guy. He got the moves. Come on. We're playing around and fight. Total power tries around fourteen watts. Game is not demanding on the hardware. On PC platform you can even emulate this game. PS2 version, even the PS3 version. Not impressed by the Windows ports of these Kingdom Hearts games. Very buggy. It's the crashing issue that disappoints me. Here in the woods, I am chasing this creature. old mansion my weapon is not going to work come at him and nothing is happening creature is slithering away need to use that giant key plate we'll get it soon We got it. And I'll take out the creature. And there you go. Next sequence. Now we're in the town. Skateboard. Hop onto it. I'm just exploring the area. Help wanted. I'll start mail delivery. Earn some currency. You need to be quick here. Deliver the letters. Five of them. Just delivered a letter to a bird. Missed that bird. Need to try that again. Finally got it. There you go. Game is definitely playable. Now I'll be testing the next one. The remaining two games only have cutscenes, no gameplay at all. I'll just send Kingdom Hearts recorded. Enable FreeSync from here. I beg your pardon, VSync. Send 20p resolution frame rate unlock. FreeSync and VSync disable from editor and settings. I'll select a chapter, Destiny Island. This port is based on Nintendo DS version, English audio. Animation is smooth.
That's Mickey. Only cutscenes, no gameplay. That's it for the video, guys. I hope you find it useful. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.